what matters is in a free country that you elect officials who are not. Officials. Yes, you, you elect right. people who are scientifically literate. Yes. They don't have to be scientists. Uh, I, or, and if they're not scientifically literate, they should be self-aware of that and then listen to people who are. Right. So... Don't you think what they're doing, though, is they're, they're doing what their constituents would like them to do? That's why I don't beat politicians over the head. Ever. I don't do that. We're, we're, we're a republic, we're a democracy, whatever they believe, if they think the earth is 6,000 years old and they got elected, it's because the people elected them believe their, he, the earth is 6,000 years old. Or because they're willing to let that one go because they believe in their oh, policies. Po- possibly. Po- that's a good point because you have a portfolio of thoughts and beliefs. Or because he's such a profound Christian. I mean, he's so profoundly Christian that he's, he just wants plenty the of Christians who of the are Bible. connected to science that don't, including the Pope, by the way. You, you know, can you get more Christian than the Pope? All right. Yeah, he believes in science now. This new Pope is pretty interesting. Yeah, if you read if you read his encyclical from a couple of years ago, it's 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 a scientifically literate doc, document. Yeah, and no, there's okay. So it's not. He's still religious, right? So Jesus still rose from the dead, and there was still miracles and all the rest of that in the New Testament. So the, he's not in denial of that. But given that, he is saying, "Oh my gosh, here's something we, the religious community and scientists, can partner behind, and that is we want to save life on Earth. And so we have to be better shepherds of what is going on on this Earth. And one of them is we don't want to flood low lying countries in the South Pacific, where the average sea level is ten feet above sea level, or whatever it is. You're going to lose these countries if you keep melting our our our." Um, Ice caps. Uh, the, the, uh, not the ice caps because that would include a north and there's no land in the north. So uh, the glacier ice, that's land-based ice, right? Because any ice that's in the water floating, that can melt and it's not going to change the water level. Mm. So oh, okay. it's why you can do this experiment. It's really cool. 